We want you to come to Bonanza, so here's what we're going to do. For the next two weeks, any day, you can have our big T-bone steak dinner at this great low price. That's complete with baked potato and Texas toast. And all the salads you can eat from our famous Bonanza salad bar. And seconds and coffee or tea are on us. So get our big T-bone steak dinner any day for the next two weeks at our great low price. Come to Bonanza. in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, and look what we're standing in front of. Bonanza. We haven't seen one of these in years. When's the last time you've been in one, Bobby? I'd say over 30 years ago. We looked it up. I think there's only 20 of these left, and that includes Ponderosa. At one time, there were 600 of them. It was started by Dan Blocker, who played Hoss on Bonanza back in 1963. So we needed some lunch today. What better place to go back in time than to come into Bonanza? So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> the main lobby of Bonanza. Come in here, you order right there. You don't have a menu before you go back. Looks like they have daily specials here. Family Monday, Sizzling Tuesday, Seniors Wednesday, and the steak on Thursday. Shrimp and Shrimp Friday. Here are your entrees at the buffet for $5.50. All the different steaks, ribs, pork chops, chicken, seafood, perfect pairings. Buffet and more, burgers and sandwiches, seniors, kids menu. So if you just want the buffet, looks like it's $13.99 for dinner, $10.99 for lunch, drinks, and lunch special. All right, guys, let's just take a quick look at the inside of this place. That looks like I remember. A little more modern. Fried chicken, stuffing, spaghetti, macaroni and cheese, and stewed tomato. Chicken gravy mashed potatoes, baked beans, sauerkraut, Brussels sprouts, and meatloaf. Barbecued baked chicken, maple carrots, chicken tenders, pierogi and onions, and Harvard beets. They're doing an awesome job of keeping everything rotated and full. Corn, El Gratin potatoes, pork chops, Rice, sweet chili meatballs. They have a taco station. Yep, taco meat, nacho cheese, tacos, chips, anything in that container. Mm -hmm. no, <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, there we go. Tortilla shells. Plenty of different items to put on your taco. Some crackers, so that means there's going to be some soup here. Chicken, chicken corn, corn soup. Broccoli cheese soup. I might try that. Ham and beans. Broccoli salad. 
cucumbers and onions. It's potato salad, cottage cheese, applesauce. It's like pudding, probably. Yeah, that or yogurt, not sure. Mixed fruit, mandarin oranges. Looks like tapioca, some kind of cookies and cream dessert, and some jello. Pineapple, cantaloupe, watermelon, more puddings, it's like lemon and chocolate, vanilla. Looks like that might be cranberry sauce. You like that? Coleslaw, macaroni salad, and pasta salad. Let's go down to salad bar. Looks pretty decent. Some pickles in there, pickled eggs, beets. Mushrooms, onions, pieces of chicken to put on your salad. Bacon, peas, eggs. You get a variety of dressing, Caesar, ranch, raspberry vinaigrette, honey mustard, blue cheese, light ranch, Thousand Islands. And there's a Parmesan peppercorn. Yeah, pretty good selection of that. And your croutons. But the desserts start off with some ice cream. Ice cream toppings. You need to put it in a cup. They have some cones, sugar-free cake. Oh, well, they have pizza. Sticky buns, dinner rolls. That's chocolate lava cake, isn't it? That's what it says. Apple cobbler, bread pudding, chocolate chip cookies. Oatmeal raisin cookies. Hot fudge and caramel topping station. Golden yellow cake. Chocolate cake with chocolate icing. Peanut butter cookies. Peanut butter fudge. Rice Krispie treats. Some brownies. What's down there? Different jellos. Chocolate with marshmallows, orange dreamsicle, jello, and cheesecake. I tell you, some restaurants I don't get no respect at all. Well, one place they charge me extra for a tiny salad. What a ripoff. I said, hey, wait, do you call this a salad? He said, at these prices, call it anything you want. Well, at Bonanza, you just help yourself to our fabulous salad bar. It's absolutely free with every dinner. That's right, absolutely free. Now that's a deal you can respect. Plenty of extra seating back in this section. Pan out and see the whole buffet set up. It's like they have about six buffet areas. Walk down here one more time. There's the main seating area. Right out through there. The steak came with a baked potato and Bobby's first round at the buffet. What did you get? I got the meatloaf, piece of fried chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy, and then the beans, baked beans. I'm gonna try the mashed potatoes and gravy. It's a chicken gravy. Gravy has a good taste, but those are instant mashed potatoes. But they doctored them up with some butter, so they're not bad for instant. Meatloaf. meatloaf. Now they do their meatloaf like I do. I always put ketchup on mine. It gives it a little bit of a sweet flavor too with the ketchup and then um, the baked beans. That's a pretty good assortment of stuff they up did. there. So those are a little tangy. Um, I tasted some onion in there. Now me, I like that with the onions in mine. Mm -hmm. It's a good flavor. Nice it's got a small piece of chicken, piece of chicken. that's chicken. all I needed. They just filled it up. The chicken's done well. Huh? So between the chicken and the meatloaf, I can't really decide because they both are good, but I think I'm going to go with the meatloaf. Join our e-club. Didn't know much about this place still. Didn't think there was many of these around. All you can eat weekend breakfast buffet is $11.99. And they have seniors happy hour buffet. From one to four for ten bucks. It's a great price. Well, it's a steakhouse, so 
have to try the steak. Looks pretty nice. Six ounce steak. And that's all you need it because you got the buffet too. Yeah, that was it. Here. I told him medium. Let's just try a piece of it. <coughs> Enjoyed that first bite. It has bonanza seasoning on it. I can taste a little bit of like uh, pepper to it. It's been brushed with butter. I'm happy with it. Some to add on. Just had to taste a little bit of a nasty steak. Used to get this all the time. Used to get a uh, all you could eat shrimp. You could go in there and they would bring it right to your table. And I see they do that on Friday nights now. So I miss this restaurant. It's got a reasonable price and a baked potato. I don't know what it is, maybe it's just because my bonanza, but I'm digging the steak and you bring it back all those years being younger, reliving it. Hello, let's talk seriously about dinner. Face it, lately who can afford a generous dinner of steak and crab legs? Nobody. But now Bonanza Restaurants has juicy steak and tender crab legs at a very special price, only $9.99. Just imagine steak and tender crab, plus the all-you-can-eat Freshtastics food bar. But best of all... You don't have to get all dressed up. Second time I'm up. I got a taco, spaghetti, pork chop, pasta salad. What'd you get, Bobby? I got the broccoli salad, potato salad, and the uh, cranberry salad, a lot of salads. Uh, I know a lot of people have asked us before to try to do more on the salad bars instead of like the meats and potatoes. I got the sweet meatballs, sauerkraut, carrots, and then let's try the broccoli. Cheese soup. Alright, some potato salad. Oops. We tried a couple different items in here. I want to apologize yeah. for the brightness because the light really is right, right, right over our head. So the potato salad's more of a mustard base. And then the broccoli salad reminds me of a coleslaw, like the vinegar and a little bit of the sugar. I would pick both of those. It's about 90 degrees outside and Bobby got some soup for lunch. <laughs> but it's it's nice and cool in here, so that helps. All right. So I got the broccoli and cheese. Yeah. Lots of broccoli in there, huh? Yeah. So that's definitely cheesy, but I do like it. So if you like broccoli, you have to try it because there is a lot of broccoli in there. I decided to try a taco today. Taco tastes like a taco should. <laughs> Your uh, meat, I put some tomatoes on there. They had plenty of stuff up there you could put on there. Jalapenos, I put some salsa on there. Did you get the some shells fr is fresh. Sh not sour cream on that? I didn't put any sour cream on that. I didn't want to make a mess up there. I thought it looked too good. But the shell is fresh. It should not stale. This was spaghetti. Did they put a lot of taco seasoning on the meat? No, a little bit. A it's little not bit. overly it's not over okay. seasoned. Like to do with or Ortega or you make it at home. It doesn't yeah. taste quite like what it does when you make it at home. More like a taco bell. Spaghetti. I like that spaghetti. It reminds me of spaghetti that you eat up the next day. That's when it's always the best because all that sauce gets into the noodles. That's what they've done. They've just probably put mixed all that together like instead of just having the pasta and pouring it on there. It's all mixed up. I think it is better yeah. that way. I always like it the next day. Got some pasta salad, plenty of meats. Happy with everything about that. Tastes like pasta salad. Nice flavor, fresh, and a pork chop. That's a nice, thin pork chop, isn't yeah. it? Thought I'd try that. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Before I try this pork chop, I want to give a shout out to the staff here. They're filling the drinks up, keeping everything full, clean. It's a Thursday at 2 o'clock and there's still a few cheap winter. I wasn't expecting to be anybody in here no, at that time. It's busy. I asked them, I said, this place really does the business. I'm sure it does because we really enjoyed ours when we had it. This pork chop. The pork chop is done well. Basic pork chop, but it has a nice flavor. You know, for the price, for everything you get up there, I don't know how they're down to eight stores now. That's just amazing to me. It's, that's a good value. Bobby, what did you think of the sweet chili meatballs? It's a little bit too spicy for me. What you said, you like sweet chili? Yeah, you'll really like this. Do so you have one meatball left? Where is it? There you go. I'm going to get it. Let's see. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, doesn't it? I 
does. It does. Not when you first bite on it. Mm -hmm. That little after bite. But yeah. I like it. I could eat those. I, w I wish it wasn't so spicy because it is a good meatball. Nice flavor. Mm -hmm. There's more seating back in this section. Bigger than I thought it was. Bobby's picking out her dessert. Plenty of choices to choose from. Got a few desserts. Got the dream sickle, chocolate cake, and a brownie. And Bobby has to hurry up because her ice cream yeah. is melting. I got the apple cobbler and a oatmeal raisin cookie. I'm going to try it. Let's try to get some of the apple cobbler without the ice cream. Got that cinnamon flavor to it. The crust on the cobbler is nice and flaky. And it was pretty, but this yeah, is very hot. They just brought it out some ice cream. And you're waiting on me to come back to the table. I'm gonna try the Dream Sickle Cement Jello. That's a nice flavor. Tastes like a cream sickle. Little piece of cake. I thought you'd get the lava cake. Who's to say I won't get it? Oh, just because okay. I don't film it on here doesn't mean I won't have it, guys. The cake's all right. Not nearly as good as the dreams. And I got a brownie. Let's look at our receipt here at Bonanza in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. A lunch buffet for Bobby added on the Pepsi 1378. Mine with the top sirloin added on was 2028 20, any Pepsi. Grand total 3610. Well, we just left Bonanza and I felt like we just went back in time. What did you think about it, Bobby? Yes, well, I was just thinking, I'm glad we found this place because it brought back a lot of good memories mm -hmm. over 30-some years. I wish we still had one close to home. Now, if you have a family, this is a great place to come, isn't it, John? It I mean, is. The prices were very reasonable. There's something up there for everyone. There was pizza and tacos. You know how kids sometimes are picky with different things. Um, I enjoyed everything I had, but my favorite would have been the uh, meatloaf. Because I put ketchup on top of my meatloaf, and they did too. And uh, I really like the apple cobbler I got, and that oatmeal cookie was pretty good. <laughs> now, before we forget, though, we want to send a big shout out to the staff in there. They kept everything full, came by, filled up the drinks, took the plates. They were busy. They did an outstanding job. And I'd like to know what happened with the company. Why is there only like eight of these left? And I think you add Ponderosa in there. There's 20 of them. What happened? I know they filed bankruptcy. This place should be everywhere. $10.99 for lunch, dinner, $13.99. Breakfast, $11.99. Can't beat those prices. Great selection. Everything tasted good or, or even better and good. Some of it was great. But it did bring back a lot of memories. I loved going to Bonanza years ago. That was the main place to go, Bobby. It was. That, have a lot no. Of it was the main place. Very popular. Rodney Dangerfield, Monty Hall used to do commercials. 600 stores. Come on, guys. Let's bring some of these back. I'm glad we stopped here. I don't know if many of you guys out there have any of these places left. I don't know where they are. Leave in the comments if you remember Bonanza and what you thought about it. Yeah, let's go back to the good old days, yep. John. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J and B have left the building. discovered a Bonanza. <laughs> That's right. When you come to Bonanza in Gulfport, you'll discover a Bonanza of good things to eat for the whole family. We discovered a Bonanza. From our guaranteed great steak. Now that's a Bonanza. To our famous Bonanza salad bar. To the best service in town. What a Bonanza. Discover a Bonanza. Discover. I discovered a Bonanza. A Bonanza.